Welcome to the Learn How to Use WonderLogic Studio training series. Thanks for joining us. In this series of lessons, we'll be building a water supply system. So let's take a look at our project description. We're being asked to design a water supply system that'll include a water tank, and that'll be supplied by a water well. So let's look at what we have here. So we see here the water tank has a level transmitter. And then that's being supplied by a uh, water well pumping system. So it looks like we have a redundant pumping system with a main pump and a backup pump. That sounds familiar to our redundant pumping system from our previous lesson on the oil lubrication system. So we'll make use of that. Uh, and also there's a, uh, a switch for the water well. Okay. And here are the conditions for the project. Water will be supplied out to the consumers at an unknown rate, right? They'll just use water however and whenever. And whenever the power is on, we want the control system to be live so that it will pump as it needs to. And then what we're trying to do is we're trying to maintain the water level in the tank between a 40 and 60% reading there from the level transmitter. And so if it drops below 40, we'll turn the pump on. If it gets up to 60, we'll turn the pump off. And so with any system design, you need to think about the components and the modules that you've previously created that you might be able to use in this project. So like we mentioned, the lubrication system exercise that we did previously had a pumping system that's very similar to the one required here. And uh, being able to reuse components and to make modifications to work you've done is far easier and safer than designing stuff from scratch. And so that's what we're going to do here in this project. Okay, let's fire up WonderLogix. And remember, you can just pause these videos and follow along as we go. So we're going to open WonderLogix. We'll start a new project. We'll call it the water supply system. We're going to just leave the uh, default path as fine. That's always in your user folder uh, under WonderLogic Studio projects, but you can change that to whatever you like. Great. All right, so when we look back at our project picture, we really need to think high level when you first start working on WonderLogic. So you want to group things by areas of functionality. We're going to right click, choose add a component, we're going to add a logical component for the water tank, right? So we have the water tank that contains the level transmitter. So that's an area. So we'll make that a logical component. And then we have this area for the water well. It's where the pumping system is going to be. So we'll add another logical component. We'll call it the water well. And that's our high level view of our system, right? All of our functionality takes place within a water tank and then other functionality within the water well, and then they will get tied together. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to open the old oil lubrication system that we made from our previous lesson. So I'm going to go to the very last version we had from change order four, and we're going to do that in here file or open another project. I'm going to go open my lubrication system, change order four. That was the last version that we had worked on. And what we're going to do is we want to reuse this entire pumping system, right? So even though this is a lubrication system for oil, it's, it's really a pumping system generically. It's got a main pump, backup pump, some sort of fluid. So we're going to take this entire project and import this into our existing water supply system for the water well. So we're going to right click here on the lubrication system itself and we're going to export the entire thing. And let's just, this is generically just a pumping system. So we'll call it a pumping system. And it's good to put in a description so that when you're looking at these later, you'll know what they contain without having to necessarily open them up all the way. So we have a main pump and a backup pump. And we use those for high availability. All right, we're going to say OK. We need to pick a place to put this. We'll put this in our WonderLogic Studio libraries, the default path. So put that in there as a pumping system. Uh, WSO is our extension for WonderLogic Studio object. And then our projects have a WSP ending for WonderLogic Studio project. We'll hit Save. All right, so now that we've got that out here, we can use the View menu to go back to our other projects. So we can keep more than one project open here at a time. We can only run one instance of WonderLogix at a time, but we can open more than one project. Go back to our water supply system. All right, we're going to import this as a class into this project. So we're going to click the plus sign here, select the class, go find our pumping system that we just created, hit open. Yep, of the things that we want out of there, we'll take the pumping system, say OK. And we successfully imported that class. Great. And the pumping system itself actually contains the pump unit and the pumping system. And we're going to make one object of these. We'll take this, we'll call it pumping system, create an instance of this here. 
and we're going to put this inside of our water well. So let's click and drag this guy down into the water well. Let's go into our water well, and there's our pumping system. So now that we have that in there, it's going to need a few modifications to pump water instead of oil, and it has slightly different functionality, but it is easier to modify a similar object than to start from scratch each time. So as you're using WonderLogic Studio, try to reuse previous functionality as often as possible. It'll speed your project completion, it can help ensure a more consistent design from project to project, and that can also make later commissioning and troubleshooting faster and easier. So this makes WonderLogic Studio a powerful force multiplier for OEM, system integrators, and manufacturers alike. Okay, that's a good stopping point. We'll see you in the next lesson.